Hi, Peace Church. My name is Eric Attiligo, and I'm the youth director here. Um, and I serve the youth alongside Lauren Lockridge, who's our assistant director of youth and children. And I think it's safe to say that uh, that we miss you guys. We miss uh, being able to come together, being able to worship together with you and, and your families. And we look forward to the day that we can do that together safely. But today I wanted to share something that actually comes from a psalm that we looked at uh, with our middle schoolers and high schoolers in one of our Bible studies. And it's Psalm chapter 4. And as I was preparing for our discussion, uh, I was reading a chapter uh, and it was titled, Trusting God in a bad economy. Here's why. Israel had been struck by famine, and this meant that the economy had taken a huge hit. Um, and David, as king of Israel, was, was being scrutinized. Um, he, people were, were really critical about how he was handling things during that time. So he was going through a really, really tough time along with the rest of the nation. And so David uh, did three things in this particular situation by calling to the Lord, asking for his help. He calls to the people of Israel to turn to God and to trust in him, and he finds peace in the Lord. And so I would just wanna focus on uh, verses six through eight of Psalm chapter four. There are many who say, who will show us some good? Lift up the light of your face upon us, O Lord. You have put more joy in my heart than they have when their grain and wine abound. In peace, I'll both lie down and sleep for you alone, O Lord. Make me dwell in safety. And see, this is a very uncertain time, and we do not know what the future holds for, for our health. We don't know what the future holds for our jobs. We don't know what the future holds for, for our economy. But we do have the certainty that the Lord is good. And this is why David can say in a time of uncertainty and turmoil, in peace I will both lie down and sleep, for you alone, O Lord, make me dwell in safety. The Lord is good. He has not left us. And he is with us, and we know this because of what he's done through his son, Jesus Christ. And we can call out to him, and we can know that, that he will respond to us and give us a peace that surpasses all understanding.